Hey, hey guys, welcome back to 4 Adventures. It's Hong once again, and in today's video, we will be turning this gutter, rain gutter divider into a window vent for the Jeep Wrangler. Now this panel, once it's done, it will actually slide onto the window right here. And then uh, you can just slide the window up to uh, actually secure it. So the dimensions right now that I've got is around 18 inches. So this panel right here is uh, three feet long. You can find this at uh, Home Depot for roughly around $4 Canadian, so after tax. Um, so here is the product number if you are interested in. So yeah, again, this comes in white, only white, and uh, it is a three foot uh, panel. So right now, I have it uh, marked in the middle. I'm just doing it. I'm just going to cut it and then uh, slide it on to the, the window. Pardon my ghettoness. I can't seem to find a ruler, so this will uh, do. Make do for now. I'm just going to do a. Uh, no, it's not. It'll be better like this. All right, guys, there you go. We have both of them cut out to 18 inches. And like I mentioned earlier, there is a little uh, groove here where the window panel will sit into. Now let's uh, go over and see if this uh, works. Kind of hard to do this with one hand, but I will try. And then so all this does is you go slide it in like this. Whoopsies, it's not focusing. All right, be right back. Hey guys, there you go. The window vent is installed. Um, there's some little finagling to get it to fit in properly, but it does work. All I have to do right now is just uh, paint this black and uh, make sure you have the little uh, mesh uh, on the inside of the Jeep and not facing outside. And that's uh, pretty much it. I'm only going to paint the, the outside. I'm not, not going to even bother with the inside, but uh, other than that, this is how it looks. Okay guys, we are back. Everything is painted and uh, dry to the touch. Um, I said I wasn't gonna paint both sides, but I did. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna slap this on and uh, see how it looks. All right, this is a two hand job, so I'll be right back. Pretty, uh, pretty easy, pretty bad paint job, I have to say, but it works. Alrighty guys, we are at the end of the video. As you've seen earlier, these panels are very easy, very simple, and very affordable to make. At $4, you got pretty much nothing to lose, maybe a couple of Timmy's uh, coffees, but that's pretty much it. And it'll definitely make your sleeping experience in your vehicle a lot better. Especially when, we, when you have nights like what we are encountering now in Ontario, which is around 30, 35 degrees. It's very humid. So these are good to have unless you have a portable AC unit. So yeah, other than that, uh, again, as you see, these are very 
very thin, very small, so you can just throw these anywhere in your car and it will not take up space. Other than that, um, what else is there? Um, there are other variations that you can find online. I found one very elaborate one on Thingiverse, which requires you to have a 3D printer. Um, has cutouts for a fan, a couple, a couple of fans, and then you can add light strips to it. So it's it's very elaborate uh, with what you can do if you have a 3D printer, and also um, other various materials you can use besides these uh, gutters, uh, rain gutter uh, dividers. So it depends on the, what floats your boat. So yeah. Anyways, um, I'll link. I'll try to find those, uh, the links for those, and I'll leave them in the script in the description. So yeah, all right, that's it for the video. And if you enjoyed the video, found it useful in any way, please hit a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.